Hello and welcome, my name is Thomas and in this video I'm going to give you a behind the scenes look at a new web app that I created in just three days. Okay, so if you're a regular viewer or a longtime viewer of this channel, you know that I'm really big on productivity tools and apps. I've done a number of other videos in the past about things like the Full Focus Planner and Basecamp and other tools that I have used in order to become more productive. One of the challenges that I have encountered, however, is that sometimes it can be really difficult to keep track of bigger projects and goals. Part of this is because if I'm working in something like Basecamp, that's going to have some of the projects that I'm working on, but not necessarily all of them. While most of my clients and customers work with me in Basecamp, other customers that I've worked with or other partnerships that I have go outside of Basecamp. So with this caused me to create at one point then, just so I had kind of a bird's eye look at everything, is something I like to call my radar, all right? We're all pretty familiar with the phrase or the concept of saying, yeah, that's on my radar. In other words, it's on my radar, I'm aware of it, but I'm not quite ready to act on it yet, or I need to act on it, that sort of thing. The problem is that if we have too many things on our radar, we tend to let things slip through the cracks. So from a very practical perspective, this means that if I'm using something like Basecamp to cut, to manage a collection of big projects, and then I'm using something else like Things, it's very easy if I'm not regularly checking back and forth to those di different places that big projects and goals might not necessarily be having the progress made on them that need to be made in order to ensure they're moving forward. So hence, this is why I created the idea of a radar. A radar isn't merely a list of tasks to do. It isn't merely a list of goals uh, or it isn't merely a list of projects. Instead, what it is, a radar list is a list of items that, co that are comprised of very big projects or goals. Goals or projects that take a significant number of tasks to complete. So for me, this is gonna be things like client projects or goals that I wanna hit in one of the businesses that I'm running or goals that I wanna hit uh, in particular, maybe with this channel or content creation, whatever those long-term goals are. So it's those big long-term goals and big projects and then associated with it, the next action not a list of actions, not a list of things that have to be done, just one of them. What one thing do I need to do today or within this week to make sure that that goal or project is moving forward? So recently I was sitting in a coffee shop and I was putting together, uh, which has kind of become like a daily habit, going through and organizing my radar, which I was just using as a separate list within things. So you can imagine how kind of confusing this can become if you're already using things to manage other projects, plus on top of Basecamp and Slack and everything else. That's when it hit me. Why don't I just make a web app that enables me to uh, accumulate and organize and manage and maintain my radar list? That's when I decided to do a quick search online, what different domains are available out there. And I happened to come across one that was perfect which is Radarist, Radar.ist, which is kind of almost a hyper abbreviated version of Radar List, which is, which is essentially kind of what I've created and what I've been using as kind of a baseline for managing big projects and goals. So since I happen to be waiting for a number of my clients to get back to me on some of the recent projects that I've been working on, I had a little bit of free time. So what I decided to do was kind of block out a few days just to go ahead and create this because this is actually, this falls in line with what I do with a number of my different clients that I work with, which is build web apps and websites to help achieve specific goals. So I went through my, my uh, specific pr process of designing the brand identity that went around it. Then after I had nailed down kind of the color scheme and the typography and the brand identity, then I went ahead and jumped into the process of actually wireframing this and went out and designed the actual UI, the user interface of how this was going to look as a web app, put together the different pieces of the style guide of how this would look so that I could make sure that it was going to fall in line, not only with the methodology of creating a radar list, but also just look nice, something that kind of fit in with other web apps 
while still having its own unique flair. So by day three, I had actually jumped into the coding process and kind of pulling together from a number of different frameworks that I've built in the past. I was actually able to build it out really quickly up to now when it is officially ready for beta. So what I wanted to do now is just take a little bit of time just to give you a little bit of a look behind the hoods, uh, behind the hood of what it looks like inside of Radarist and kind of the radar approach to productivity. So let's go ahead and take a quick look. Okay, so here we are at the Radarist website. So I, like I said, it's radar.ist. And so all I have to do to get started is just click create your free account, jump on over here and then start creating an account. Once I've created an account, I get this nice clear blank screen letting me know that I can get started. I've created a nice little getting started video so that you can easily see kind of already what I'm kind of recapping in this video, but kind of the methodology behind it. And then we see this nice little plus button up here where we're going to add our first item. So one of the things I wanna reiterate, because there are a ton of task management and even project management tools out there. This is not a to-do list, right? There are a million of, you know, there are millions of to-do lists that exist out there today. I didn't want to create another to-do list. This is a radar list. This is a macro, not a micro view. The idea here is to think of all the big long-term goals and projects and add them to this list. So let's take a look at how this looks. So what I'm not gonna put here is something like go shopping, right? Cause that's a one-time task and you're not really going to be working on that over the course of let's say a month or three months or something like that. Since that I could say, since I'm a web developer, I'm creating Bill's website. And let's say that the next action, since that's the next piece we wanna put in here, is we want to go ahead and put in maybe uh, the initial UI mockups if there's a relevant URL, such as the Basecamp project or Slack thread or something like that, I could stick that here or just hit enter. And you're gonna see that automatically gets added. So then I'm gonna go ahead and pop in another thing. Let's say that I wanted to, oh, I don't know. Let's say grow my email list to 5K subs. So what's the next action that I'm going to do to help uh, you know achieve that particular goal? I want it to be very specific. And again, you can link to a Basecamp project or to a things list or to somewhere else where you're actually gonna manage all the individual tasks. But the next thing I'm gonna do to, in order to achieve that specific goal is that I am going to uh, create a landing page with opt-in. Hit enter, and then there we go. So let's go ahead and just make one more really quick here. So then let's say that we also wanted to redesign our company website. I've already done a UI design, let's say. So next we need to code initial framework. There you go, we see we've got three things and then what we've got here is a nice order. So what I do on a daily basis now that I've got my list of important items on my radar list, what I wanna do is jump in here and I do this uh, sometimes once a day, sometimes multiple times a day. I wanna make sure that I go through and I reorder these in terms of what I'm gonna be working on today. So like I said, I'm a big user of the Full Focus Planner. So I actually use this to help me decide what I'm gonna do for my daily big three. Whatever things I put in these top three slots are gonna be my daily big three. I write them down. And I kinda use this as the big list to pull from for things to move forward. So then let's say, for example, I've gone in and I have, let's say I'm working on Bill's website. I created those mockups. And I could say maybe waiting for Bill's feedback. Then what I could do is pop that down to the bottom of my list. There we go. And we're set with that. So then let's say we've reached the point where we finished Bill's website. It's all done. We've gone through and we have finished the website. Then we can click this nice little archive button. You'll see that it is then off of our list. Over here, we can actually pop on over to the archive. And then you can always see a list of all of the big projects or goals 
radar items that you have completed. So the goal here is to go through this list regularly in order to make sure that they're always in front of you. One of the things that I've done is that it's really easy to get distracted with things like social media or other websites that you should be, you know, you should be focusing on a specific task. I've actually set this as my home page so that every time I open up a new browser window or uh, you know a new tab or something like that, it pops up here so that I always can see right here it says on deck so I know that the next action, the item I'm supposed to be moving forward is right here. So this is a very simple, basic, easy to use tool. One thing I will show you kind of to uh, wrap this up is let's say if you want to keep that radar list really clean and you want to use your archive to put things that you are waiting for, you can actually click restore and that thing is going to go right back to your main list after you click restore. So it's a great way to kind of some flexibility built in there for you. But again, the idea here is simplicity. I think part of the reason why we have such a tough time getting things done is because we go through, we look at our, our task list and it's a mile long, when in reality, there's just a handful of things that you need to get done that day. And I think because we work with these lists that are a mile long, we lose sight, we kind of lose sight of the forest for the trees. We lose sight of the big projects and specific things that we're doing to move them forward. The idea with something like Radarist is that we can take a look at the big ideas, the list of big projects we wanna get done, and one simple next action that we need to do to take and nudge that thing forward. So it's not an idea of necessarily uh, checking things off in Radarist. You can use other to-do uh, list managers or project managers to do that. This is for managing the big ideas. This is the bird's eye view of everything that you need to get done so that you can always keep track, not only of the micro, but of the macro as well. Okay, so that's it. I just wanted to give you a little bit of a behind the scenes look at the uh, new free web app I've created, which by the way, is now available for public beta. Like I said, it's 100% free. So click the link below this video if you'd like to sign up for a free account uh, for Raiderist and you can start testing it out. Like I said, this is just something that I kind of created and invented that I wasn't finding with other productivity tools. One of the things that I was finding with so many of the other tools out there is that they all kind of copy each other and don't ever really solve any productivity problems. What I was finding with so many of the other apps out there is that they end up making things more complicated and time consuming rather than less, which is the exact opposite of what a productivity tool is for. So in future videos, I'm gonna be showing you how I use something like the full focus planner in tandem with this. I'm also gonna show you how I use this in tandem with something like Basecamp and Bear and other apps that I use. So they kind of tie together for a nice clean productivity workflow. Also, if you have any thoughts or feedback or features, I'm not gonna be adding a ton of features to this to make it more complicated. However, if you have some thoughts or ideas for how I can make Radarist more clean and user-friendly, more productivity-oriented, I'm always happy to hear your feedback as well. So if you found this video, if you found Radarist useful, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.